Hi, I'm Mark Whitaker, and welcome to the next edition of Tech Tip Tuesday. Today, we're going to talk about how to re-image one of our devices. Now, this plays into our hands very carefully because last week we talked about Windows 11. Now, should you happen to find yourself advanced to the Windows 11 and not want to be there just yet, you do have the ability currently, as of the end of July, to be able to re-image back to Windows 10 and then run that script. One thing I will also tell you is that if you would like to be able to have this option, you need to pull those images from our download media now. Which is to say, as soon as you see this video, if you're interested in staying on Windows 10, do yourself a favor, go right to our support site and pull these images. But for right now, we'll talk you through the process of re-imaging a device. So first and foremost, we have to head on over to the Lenovo support site. This can be found at support.lenovo.com. So here you can see the support.lenovo.com site, and it brings you to a host of different options. Click on the Smart tab. This will bring you to a next set of choices where you'd want to select Smart Collaboration, because frankly, we are Smart Collaboration. Our devices are Smart Collaboration, so select Smart Collaboration. It will then ask you to select a subseries. In order to do that, we just come down here and figure out what exactly we're looking for. We can pick one out. We're just going to arbitrarily select Core Full Room Kit for Teams Rooms. Select our machine type, 11LR. Now this happens to correspond with the device I have in my inventory that is sitting right next to me. If I would like to find and download the actual image, what I need to do is I need to go to Drivers and Software. Once you're in Drivers and Software, go to Get Recovery Media, Order Now. We have to determine our eligibility and choose our country and OS language, as well as submit recovery media order. Now this process does require you to have a Lenovo.com account. So if you have not gotten one of those, please make sure to get one. The very first thing we'll do is ask you for your serial number. In order to actually gain the serial number, you need to look at the bottom of your device, or if your device is registered in ThinkSmart Manager, you can check it out in ThinkSmart Manager. So I've entered my serial number and then hit the submit button. And it brings us to this screen here. This screen where we can choose our OS language. From there, I have to accept the terms and conditions and assuming that I do, this allows me to proceed with the digital download. Or you could order the actual USB media from Lenovo. It takes time to get to you and does cost money. The digital download is for free though. This is where we need to sign into our Lenovo.com account. If we do not have a Lenovo ID, we can create a new one here. I do happen to have one, so I will actually enter my information now. Once we've entered in our account information, we can start the process of the digital download. Now we can see the customer information. You see all of my information. I click, I am not a robot, and then I hit the submit button. Up will pop this screen here. Once you see this screen, hit this digital download right here. Click to download your digital recovery media. What this actually does is it downloads an executable that you can run to then get your actual recovery media. So please do not think that this download is the final result. You need to actually take another step after this. Once the file has been downloaded, you can then launch that executable file to actually then go get your recovery media. The executable will launch and you will see this page pop up. We definitely would like to download recovery files and create a recovery USB key. If you are not going to do this right now, that is okay. You could still just download the recovery files and create the recovery key later. Once again, we must sign in with our Lenovo ID. Once you have managed to sign in, you can see the option of which order you'd like to select. Now I happen to know for a fact that this, this device right here is the device that I would like to use. This 11H3 is actually a Zoom Room system, but I'm looking for the 11LR order. So I click on that and click Next. The process will then ask me where I would like to actually download the recovery file to. I can choose which folder by clicking Browse. When you've chosen the correct folder, select Download. Download is complete. This usually takes quite some time. It happens to be that I have the download of this exact thing recently, 
and it remembers that, so I don't have to download it again. Once we've actually downloaded the file, we have to select which USB drive we would like to actually create the image on. We can choose our drive by clicking the down arrow. I only happen to have one USB drive connected, so that's the only one available to select. When I'm done with that, I would hit next. This will completely format the thumb drive. Danger, Will Robinson! Danger! And here's your failsafe to verify that you are not going to be erasing anything particularly bad. So, if you are okay with this, you click the yes button. From there, it will actually create the new boot tool to create the new image on your device. Once you've created the USB thumb drive, you can just take that single thumb drive and connect it up to USB on your device. Once you've done that, you reboot the device. Many times the devices will reboot and start the re-imaging processes right away. Other times it might not. In the event that your system does not reboot and start the imaging process right away, we need to tell the BIOS to look at the USB thumb drive as the main boot hard drive. To do this, we need to connect a keyboard to the system. Once the keyboard is connected, simply reboot and keep pressing F12 until you get into that menu system. Select which device you'd like to actually reboot with, which in this particular case should be the USB drive, and then click the reboot button. Your re-image process will be underway. Now this will go for some time, we'll say maybe 20 minutes or so, and it will tell you to remove the media, and then it will reboot on its own. Once you do that, it will take another hour or so. It'll take some time after you pull that thumb drive. During this hour long process, you may be tempted to push buttons or reboot or do something because it kind of looks like it might be stuck. Do not touch it. If you touch it, the re-image will fail and you'll just have to do it again. So just be patient, wait a while, and eventually you'll come to the out of box experience. That out of box experience will include such things as being able to assign the new admin password for the device, enroll it in the ThinkSmart Manager via the QR code, and set up the account process like it was a brand new system out of box. Now, if you got this image before the middle of August, you absolutely should still have Windows 10. If you are not interested in upgrading to Windows 11, immediately go and run that registry edit we talked about last week. For a reminder, please watch the video from last week. Link to it's right below. I'd like to thank you for taking a minute and watching the how-to re-image video on Tech Tip Tuesday today. Again, this is a great tool if you've already gotten onto Windows 11 and you don't want to be there yet to get back to Windows 10, do this now. If not, pull those images immediately. If you just want to have those Windows 10 images backed up, let's work together on this. We can figure this out. But for now, thank you for joining us. I really appreciate your time here today. I'm Mark Whitaker. Ask you to please don't forget to leave comments, suggestions, tips. Ask me some questions for the new segment, Wednesdays with Whitaker. Be happy to take your questions. It doesn't have to be Spark Collab related. I know lots of weird random stuff. Thank you very much for joining us today, and I look forward to seeing you next time.